Hey there, this is Rui aka Sonic Logic, and today I'm going to show you some of the new features that are coming in the forthcoming update, Sonic Logic version 1.1. Uh, most of these features were requested by users in the Facebook page or the Instagram page or Twitter. So if you want a new feature, you're more than welcome to, uh, you know, leave a note or request it. And I'm usually uh, fairly nice when I answer people. Um, first thing I'm going to show you is the undo feature. The undo feature allows you to basically undo and redo your steps. We've got two new buttons here, the undo and redo. And I can see that I can take all my recent changes and just undo and redo them. Um, second thing I'm going to talk about is the value tracking feature. Value tracking feature is turned on here in the settings option. I've got two options for this. I can uh, value track only when I change a value or I can always value track. Value tracking allows me to see what MIDI values I'm sending whenever I'm changing a value. You can see I have these two little gouges here that show me, okay, now you're sending 27 on the y-axis and 79 on the x-axis. Um, oh, sorry, that's reversed. But basically, it's really, really nice and really, really easy to use. Um, you can use this in any component. It comes on a slider as well. You get this little gouge here saying, what's your value? And also on a button, if you add a button, when you press it, you can see what value it's coming or going. Uh, you can choose to have this always on and it will always be visible. Or you can choose to have this when you change a value. Or you could choose not to have it at all. So that's the uh, MIDI tracking value. Um, third feature I want to talk about is uh, MIDI value limitation, both on sliders and on pads. Basically, we've had that on buttons, but now you can have that also on the pads and on the um, sliders. So you can choose a minimum value and a maximum value for a pad on a slider. Um, what is this good for? Well, basically, you don't always have an option to limit this in the program that you're using. So let's see a project in Ableton Live. Uh, this is Ableton Live, and let's just... Project and if I take one of my channels, let's take the auto filter here and I'm going to map this okay. So now you can see my filter is moving according to value that I'm changing here. So suppose I don't want the filter to go from 0 to the maximum. Suppose I just want it to go to the middle values. Well, you can change this in Ableton Live. You know, it's very flexible. But not all uh, DAOs allow you to do that. So now, you can see, the value only goes halfway. Same goes to sliders. You can do the same thing with your sliders. You can say, OK, I've got a minimum value of 24, 21, a maximum value. And uh, it will be the same when you uh, select it here. Um, we've had that on buttons in the previous version, so this one already exists in Sonic Logic version 1.0. Um, last thing I'm going to show you, well, almost last thing I'm going to show you, uh, is duplication. Let's open one of the uh, setups here. Uh, if I take a very complex setup, I can just choose, instead of a new one, I can choose copy. And what it's going to do, it's going to create a mutable copy of the same thing that I had. So if I want some of the elements and I don't want the rest of them, I could just make a copy and go do whatever copy I want and do whatever editing I want. So basically, these are the new features coming in the upcoming version. There's another feature that I want to talk about, but I'm not sure that's, that what's go that's, ugh, that feature is going to uh, make it to the final version, and that is virtual MIDI. Um, basically, I started implementing Virtual MIDI in Sonic Logic, uh, but I'm not sure it works uh, just right. So I'm gonna see if if this makes it uh, if I can make it right work right. Uh, it will come in, in the forthcoming version. If not, it's going to be in version 1.2. Um, basically, I'm going to take a sample track here, and uh, I can see 
maybe you can hear this this button will start and stop the playback in the sample tank so basically now Sonic Logic has a uh, virtual MIDI ports I really really hope it will be uh, working great so I can uh, put it in the forthcoming version but you guys if it doesn't work completely great I'm not going to add it until it's really 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 ready to come up so that's it I hope you've all enjoyed it and I uh, hope you're enjoying uh, Sonic Logic out there uh, keep in touch on the Facebook page, on the Twitter pay, uh, page, on the Instagram page. If you've got any feature requests, you're more than welcome. If you've got any comments, you're more than welcome uh, to contact me. And that's it. Hope you make great tunes and see you later.